Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior, and I thank you so much for stopping by today. I send you love continuously. Um, today is November the 4th, and um, I am going to begin um, expressing how I am feeling at this very moment. I have, I woke up um, feeling great. Um, really no, I was just being actually, um, no extreme emotion, no lack or no positive or, or nor negative. Um, I was kind of in a neutral place until I began to sit here this morning um, and write down in my journal my um, experience yesterday um, and um, my experience throughout the um, evening of my, my rest. And I was just overcome with so much love, so much gratefulness, so much hope, so much peace. And I have been emotional as a result. Um, and I wanted to specifically take some time today, this morning to, and this is of course associated with why I'm feeling this way, um, speak more about um, an energy center that it's an important center or chakra that needs to be open for you in your um, ascension. But before I actually begin and approach that actual topic, I wanted to kind of give you an example of how this chakra can begin to open. Um, we all know that Facebook especially, um, social media has, even now YouTube, has a rhythm. And that is the algorithm of, um, of seeing things that if you are using Facebook specifically here, even YouTube, the more you like, comment, subscribe, and share to a post or a video, the more that that video or post will become noticed. Now, for those who end up not liking commenting and posting, for the most part, people are fear-based and will not express what their true heart of how they are expressing or feeling of that post because they are afraid of what other people are going to um, think about them. They don't like, comment, share, subscribe, and etc. Therefore, that post or video is going to become lost. Therefore, you are not going to see that individual or that type of video, that type of post any longer on your feed because you have now not given it the attention that it deserves. The algorithms of Facebook and YouTube go with what is seen the most, what is liked, commented, um, etc. the most. Um, and that's why sometimes you can be on on social media and always see the same people continuously because those are the ones that you give more attention to. You comment on more. You um, and that's what you are going to attract. It's like laws of attraction, basically. Um, 
or loss of reaping and sowing. Um, and that is actually how our life plays out too. We have a rhythm. And the rhythm is based on our heart, our intentions of the heart, our thoughts that come into the heart, our words that are a part of our heart, our actions that come from the heart. If you are a lacking individual, a more negative individual, an individual that's full of pain and limitations and doubts and fears, by the natural state of law and the algorithm of your self, your being, will the same type of algorithms come to you. When you begin to shift, because you're like, well, you know what, I'm tired of seeing the same type of post. I'm tired of seeing the same type of experience. I'm tired of pain. I'm tired of lacking. I'm tired of being afraid. That mindfulness and that awareness creates a tiny spark within that when you continuously allow that flame to burn, it will get more powerful and more powerful. And that power will change your negative algorithm to a more positive one and bring to you all of the goodness that is yours. And that's how the chakra systems work as well. Because you changed your thoughts, you changed your emotions, you changed your words, you change your actions, you are beginning to act on divine will. It begins slowly. And when divine will, that higher power, that God source, that beautiful, most powerful light, feels that vibration that you are giving off, that hope, that spark, it begins to know where you are going and what you are going to um, achieve in your life. Therefore, that power, when you begin to move with it, it knows that you are going to begin and activate other chakras based upon that spark that you have not let go of. The Alta Major, and I have spoken about it before, is a major chakra, and it's often re referred to as the mouth of God. This is also the one that um, um, is referred to, let me see, well, it is the chakra that is associated with um, eagles because the eagles have the greatest perception because they have the ability to fly above everything here in the animal kingdom. Um, and so, again, last night I have I heard the calling of the eagle. And as I began to sit here again this morning and um, a journal, my experience, and attempt to get some thoughts together to express the importance of this alta major to, of the of this chakra to you. I became so overwhelmed, and I know that this is because more is coming into me because of the alta major opening. It it being in my awareness today means that I believe that it is at the cusp of fully being open. Um, 
the Alton Major, again, sits, or the actual opening, is at the base of the skull or the neck, and skull unites. This is where the medulla oblongata um, is, and it is the important area where the life force energy within your skull, though, um, in your brain, excuse me, um, builds its energy to allow more fluid to penetrate into your brain and ignite all of those centers. This Alta Major is considered to be a minor chakra, but it is of high significance. It is the Ascension Chakra. This is the chakra that allows you to go over and beyond the seven main chakras. Um, and it is the connection to higher realms. It is the connection to receiving the Word of God and being able to channel your experience. Um, and again, this resonates with me as a result of uh, um, a few messages that I got a couple of days ago. Um, now, I have known about the Alta Major since the beginning of my process. Why? Because God, Spirit, Source knew this is where my end result was going to be. Through my personal algorithm, my change in thoughts, my change in perception, my change in emotion, my change in action. I was proving my own worthiness of what I wanted. I was willing and I was working for something, something that I didn't understand yet, but something that I wanted. I wanted to know more, I wanted to belong, I wanted to receive everything that I was worthy for and, and expressed that I deserved. And every time we give up something which is pertaining to the lacking parts of us as well as others, we receive more. Our own personal sacrifice gives us a greater blessing. Um, so it's taking me two years, and I'm including up until today, um, two years and a 2.2, two years and two months, <laughs> um, to get here. Now, when this part of this opening takes place, um, it is because you are choosing You are choosing, I guess, divinity. You are choosing power. You are choosing light. You are choosing source. You are choosing to serve. And I mean at a grander, um, in a grander design here. Um, the Alta Major again, is that has the opening in the back of the skull that comes through your vocal cords. It is in your throat. And when this is blocked, and it, it will not allow the life force energy, that fire energy, to get past your throat. The Alta Major is the ability to hear more, see more, smell more, speak more and feel more. It enhances your, your senses, your spiritual senses, and allows it to be used for its proper use. 
Um, and this is, of course, the process, the biblical process that I have been talking about. Um, and it takes place through all of our spiritual bodies. And that's why it may seem like it takes forever to get to a point because we are always working through our spiritual bodies and um, embodying everything, creating that integration process of the spiritual bodies to our physical form. Um, and I'm trying to really make sense of all of this or interpret it to you. So without this center being open, your, your senses are going to be blocked off, which of course means the penal and pituitary are not receiving the light because there's a process of connection. And there's a process that um, many forget about or don't know about also with this connection. It is um, when they are expressing the crown, it's really the bindu that is being um, connected here. You have the bindu, you'll have the alta major, um, you'll have the penile gland and the, the, the um, pituitary gland. The alta major is the feminine aspect of it, the, which is the resonance of God um, through the, the word. Um, the penile gland is the masculine, and then the pituitary is the feminine again. And they are also, the penile and pituitary, are also the Joseph and Mary as well, the biblical version of of that and um, in um, Egypt the um, activation or readiness of this center is demonstrated with that rod that is being it looks like it's trying to be inserted into the back of the, the skull there um, in the neck area and this is only through a readiness and incorporates higher initiations um, as a result of this. You will have to pass initiations. You will have to be ready for this. And that's why I always express within my, my videos, are you learning your lessons? Are you choosing love through your lessons? You know, I can't make you understand or help you with yours to see the high perspective or to make the proper choice because I can't, I'm not living your life. I know for mine, when I have an experience in my life and it makes me feel bad, I always say, is this... Um, I ask myself, are these thoughts and emotions love? Is this situation love? And what is the choice I'm going to make as a result? And is that choice reflected around love? If a, a situation comes up, especially in my past, when someone was being mean to me, I would often push them away, thinking I am going to protect myself from love because I, I deserve love and I deserve the best kind of love. But that was actually wrong. Now for myself. Because true love does not block off. True love doesn't stop giving. True love will not stop receiving either. When, when, I, when I used to choose to cut people off. That meant I wasn't choosing to give them love regardless of the situation. Love is always giving no matter what. Now when you are not strong in your foundation, you're going to see that giving love 
regardless of the situation, regardless of continuously being um, hurt as a bad thing, that they don't deserve it. But when you have built your foundation um, completely up to be strong, you know that giving is the right choice and it makes you more stronger. You don't feel weak by giving love to someone who is continuously mean and beating you to pieces. Because now your love is coming from a higher source into you and you can continuously give it. Because whereas before you were weak, you weren't receiving that divine love because you were blocked off. Because mostly your seven main chakras were blocked. And because the Alpha Major is blocked. But when you build up your temple, you heal the seven main chakras, you tap into the other higher ones or the minor ones. Those are very important. They're not, I don't know why they're called minor. They give you more light, more vibration for you to give regardless of what's taking place around you. Your cup is always filling. This is the Holy Grail of light that is continuously filling you, your mind, your heart, your temple to always provide love in every time because we will often be in an initiation period when we are tested or asked to learn a lesson there will come a time when someone's going to trigger you into making you feel as if you should cut them off again or cut a situation off again or go run and hide again if you can pass it and choose the greatest experience you have learned a major lesson you have Past a major initiation in a pathway can be opened more. It takes time for a major pathway to ascension to open because you have to prove that this is what you want. You have to prove your own worthiness that you want it because God knows you are. He knows what you're capable of. But the limited mind and other influences are going to try to keep you down. You have the power to always say yes for love. And when you continuously say yes, you open up these higher energy centers even more so. You allow more light. The example of light being able to come in continuously. Um, if you have a pipe or like your drain in the, the kitchen sink, if it gets um, full of grease and gunk and slime, the water flow can't go through there any longer. It's going to become um, plugged and nothing but nasty and dirty water is going to be in it's going to be in your sink you're going to get backed up everything like that when you create that flow by allowing it to cleaning out your drains more clean water is able the clean water is now able to go through and penetrate it um and that's probably a terrible example i i hope it makes sense for you um the more and more you allow light to come in by purifying yourself, you open up fully that pathway where whatever it is that your life is pertaining to your purpose 
can be revealed. Now the Alta Major is also a connection center to um, your past and your future. The Alta Major connects the heart to the brain. This is the heart intelligence, spiritual intelligence, um, love intelligence, God intelligence. Um, whereas pr previously we are always working from the lower mind. Um, some call it the reptilian brain. Um, this center again only opens through complete purification. And I am going to make a separate video about um, the purification process. Um, and hopefully that will help guide you along your journey. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.